All right, guys. So let's try launch control. I have my draggy already. First things first. I'm gonna turn off traction control all the way. Here we are. I'm going to put the driving mode into Nurburgring mode. So what I do, put uh, my foot on the brake, floor the gas pedal, the revs or the RPM should shoot up to about three or 4,000 RPM. Um, and then you release. So foot on the brake. You gotta make sure to have it in drive. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Let's uh, let's try that again. Sorry, car. Hey, but uh, good to know there's no uh, rev limiter. Woo! I just did a four all-wheel drive. <laughs> oh my god i did an all-wheel or four-wheel burnout that was fucking crazy <laughs> holy shit <laughs> okay so uh i am on winter tires <laughs> that was fun wow uh yeah this thing pulls for being a stock vehicle it really really pulls Again, it's not the fastest thing in the world, but for what it is, guys, this is a economy hatchback with a uh, turbocharged four-cylinder engine. It's a two-liter four-cylinder engine. All-wheel drive. It looks like a normal hatchback, and I love that about it because nobody expects it. Uh, of course, people that are into cars will know or might have an idea if they're, you know, casually into cars. But for the average person on the road, they have no clue. That's what makes it super fun. It can really surprise people. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to uh, exit off here. In a moment, I'm gonna pull over somewhere safe and we'll take a look at uh, the results. One thing to note as well, it is a very windy evening out here. Something to note, I don't know uh, if I had a tailwind or if I was getting into, if it was a headwind. This thing is fun. The funniest part is that uh, my fuel economy average has gone up since I pulled that stunt. Hmm. <laughs> that was fun. That was really fun. Okay, so I did a uh, 13.05 quarter mile, 13.05 second quarter mile, uh, at 107.34 miles per hour. Um, my 60 foot, so this would explain, this would be my launch, uh, was quite poor. As we saw, it was a four wheel, uh, burnout winter tires, plus a dusty road, um, that was bound to happen. 60 foot of 2.05, um, a good launch a, or an excellent launch, I believe is like 1.6. Um, so a lot of room for improvement there. And that would also explain my uh, quarter mile of 13.05. The trap speed, 107.34. Um, that's, eh, that's, that's okay. Could be a little better, but keep in mind, um, yes, it's eight degrees outside. It, that's eight degrees Celsius. But keep in mind, I'm at 3,600 feet uh, altitude, and the density altitude, um, otherwise known as the DA, is showing as 3,900. What that means is the acceleration data that we see here is as if the conditions, or as if I were at 3,900 feet up in the air. Uh, for those that don't know, there is power loss at altitude. I believe the air is thinner. Should anyway, 
Um, turbocharged engines like this um, suffer quite a bit less than a naturally aspirated engine, so something that's not turbocharged or supercharged. However, all engines uh, still lose power at this level. Now, media outlets such as Car and Driver and Motor Trend, um, they will uh, publish numbers that are uh, corrected for density, altitude, elevation, blah, blah, blah. So what I'll do is I will post the corrected data right about now as if I had done this run in or at sea level. Zero to 60 was, was 4.81 seconds. Uh, keep in mind, I was, again, that's at that uh, density altitude. Um, also, it was going uphill. 1.24% um, um, grade slope. Not huge, but still definitely not helping. Um, so 4.81 seconds. That is without a one foot rollout. So magazines, again, such as Car and Driver and Motor Trend, uh, they will publish numbers with the one foot rollout. So uh, that would be 4.55 seconds. Again, not the greatest, but keep in mind, I have winter tires on. It was on a low grip highway shoulder that I launched it at and we are at high altitude. I would like to try again. This time, I will go the opposite direction. That way uh, we can take out the slope, uh, take out any factors such as uh, the wind. Whether I had a tailwind or a headwind, I don't know, but uh, we'll wait and see. Not sure if that was a better run or not. I don't know if I launched quite as well that time. Or maybe it was just a clean launch and it didn't feel quite as dramatic as the last one. The last one, man, there was, <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, that was pretty fun. This one was a little bit more, it just hooked. It didn't feel like it was quite as fast going the opposite direction now uh, we did a 12.91 second quarter mile um, at 107.12 our 60 foot was a little bit better I didn't launch uh, on a dusty highway shoulder like before like the first run however still not that great um, again I'm on winter tires so it was never gonna be very good trap speed don't really know what's going on there um, I can tell you um, that I definitely could tell uh, just based off noise and how the car felt I was driving into the wind the 0 to 60 did quite a bit better there uh, again mostly because I had a better launch um, that 60 foot was uh, just under two seconds instead of over two seconds like the first one um, again same conditions uh, 0 to 60 was 4.56 seconds but with the one foot rollout, just like car and driver, motor trend, um, et cetera, uh, measure zero to 60, uh, this would be 4.35. So what that means is if car and driver had tested this vehicle, that is a number that they would publish, 4.35 seconds. Zero to 130 um, a was a little bit slower than before, um, despite being a little bit downhill versus uphill as before. So uh, that really cements my theory that I was driving into the wind. DSG farts. Ooh. <laughs> it's a two liter four cylinder, right? So there's not a lot of torque off boost, but that turbo lag makes things uh, quite fun. It's like nothing, nothing, then whoa, and you push back into your seat. So I've had three full throttle runs, fuel economy since refuel, and I refueled right before coming out, or, or just before coming out, is nine and a half liters per hundred kilometers. 
yeah this car is bone stock i'm running a 93 octane shell v power um, i have around 50 pounds of cargo in the back i am on winter tires anyway guys thanks for watching uh this was definitely fun let me know what you guys think and take care